Hello and welcome back to Tech Day's 10 Minute IT Jams. I'm Tech Day's Managing Editor and today we're speaking with Clarity's newly appointed CEO, Yanif Vardy. Clarity specializes in cybersecurity across operational technology, or OT. Its focus is on simplifying OT availability, reliability and safety for a more secure working environment. This re doesn't require downtime or dedicated teams. Welcome Yanif and congratulations on your CEO appointment. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So we will get stuck into the first question. For organizations that haven't worked with Clarity before, describe your key solutions and products and what industries you cover here in Australia and New Zealand. Yes, absolutely. So Clarity is the market leader provider of uh, cybersecurity solutions for operational technology in the industrial space. Um, and we come to really a address a huge gap in the market where there's almost no cybersecurity in the industrial space on the operational technology side. If you think about that, the industrial networks were designed with different assets um, and industrial control systems in place without security in mind. The protocols of operational technology are different than, than the IT protocols companies are getting more and more advanced with getting the industrial controls, control systems more automated, but security um, is, is many times just not there. We are coming to bridge the gap and address the market needs. We have um, two major components in our platform that are addressing these needs. One is the CTD, which provides first visibility because you cannot really protect what you don't see. And so we identify the assets in the industrial networks and we map it and we make sure the customer see the uh, different assets in the industrial network. And then we start to provide risk management and vulnerability management with ongoing monitoring of the network, of the industrial network on the OT side. Um, and then also we, all, we provide threat detection and the necessary alerts for incident reports and so on to really provide the necessary um, needs for the OT space. And the complementary um, uh, product that we have in the platform is what we call the SRA, which provides the remote access security for all these vendors and users coming from the outsides, remotely connecting to the industrial network. The way we look at that is really, um, you know, the product um, is, the, the way we look at that is having a very robust product uh, with a talented team that uh, developing the product. But we're very fortunate to have the vendors who are the leading vendors in the industrial networks actually manufacturing these industrial control systems um, and owning the protocols like Schneider, Siemens and Rockwell being our investors and our partners. Um, and, and you know, having these guys being both our customers, partners and investors is really helping us to get our product to the next level and differentiate our offering. We do serve the critical infrastructure industries um, like utilities in oil and gas, um, water, chemical, and so on. Um, and we have significant footprint in the manufacturing space as well. Brilliant. So you mentioned this uh, earlier. Um, so why is industrial cybersecurity very important for organizations? Sure. So... If you look at the industrial revolution um, that started years ago, and now with the digital tra transformation, you see that the industrial space, our base, uh, industrial companies are getting their processes more automated, and they're getting their industrial networks smarter. And that means they connect their operational technology to IP-based systems, um, automated um, and basically improve productivity, but that's create an exposure that creates a risk. Um, as I said, these companies um, have industrial networks that were not designed with security in mind, 
years ago and now automate that and connecting these networks to the internet and different devices um, that are now being connected through IoT that create a huge risk, um, especially for these critical infrastructure companies that I've mentioned before. Um, and, and the other point is that if you look at the you know, normal CISOs, the regular CISOs that are very focusing on the IT space, they are you know, many times not too knowledgeable about the OT space, the operational technology. And it's also the other way, the operation guys, the operation engineers are not too knowledgeable about security. And so there's a huge gap that needs to be resolved with a solution in place. Brilliant. So you mentioned uh, critical infrastructure is one of the industries. So what other industries are the most at risk of um, industri well, industrial cyber threats? And what are some of the trends we will see in this space over the next five years? Sure. So the critical infrastructure are companies are you know, at risk. Um, and we see more and more attacks, um, government to government attacks, but also you know, private attacks uh, with ransomware and the like. Uh, the other verticals that we see that are also at a huge risk because of, you know, the digital transformation and automating and getting these industrial networks smarter and more advanced um, are the manufacturing um, industries. And, you know, you see industries like the pharmaceuticals or automotive uh, data centers district manufacturing, transport, transportation, and so on, that are all exposed and you see attacks day in and day out um, on these industrial networks. And especially, you know, through the industrial control systems where the attackers know that, you know, this is not covered as the IT space. Um, the trends that I see recently more than before also because of COVID-19 are, like I said, the digital transformation where you know, companies are just improving their productivity and running their factories more effective and more efficient. And obviously they need to be competitive in the market, um, especially now when they need to protect cash and change priorities. But that means they connect more devices. That means that they get more data up on the cloud that means that they get their industrial networks more automated, hence more exposure uh, for attacks. And we'll see more and more, um, you know, especially now where people are working remotely um, and, and attackers are taking advantage of it. Um, and, and, you know, the remote access security is needed. And also you see more attacks these days. And I think that going forward post COVID-19, COVID you'll see more and more customers working remotely and trying to improve productivity and that will create more exposure and a bigger need for cybersecurity on the OT space. Yeah, exactly. There are a lot of um, very important points to consider. So if an organization wants to implement an industrial cybersecurity solution, where is the best place to start and what are the key steps to achieving full protection of their networks? Yeah, so, so you know, it depends on the maturity of the company and it depends on the vertical. <clears throat> but usually a company will start with a CISO, right? A C-level uh, individual that will set up a SOC, a security operation net, um, um, network that is basically getting a SIM, kind of a security information and event management system to monitor and manage the different aspects of the security um, information in the organization. And then start to provide the, solu the right solutions in the different areas. Um, on the operational technology, when you get clarity, you get your needs answered on, on that side where both within the network and outside the network, we protect from remote access perspective, like I said before, and within the network with ongoing monitoring to first provide the visibility, the risk and vulnerability management, as well as the threat detection. Um, 
and you have the right solutions in place and you know that you are protected. Brilliant. Okay, so if customers wanted to get in touch with Clarity and if they wanted to test out your solutions, what is the best way that they can do so? So they can connect us through our website. We have offices in Australia as well. Um, and you know we have partners uh, that are supporting our customers in Australia as well through our office. Um, so our website and our partners is the best way to connect with Clarity. And we'll be happy to you know, demonstrate our capabilities uh, for these customers um, when necessary. Brilliant. All right, this concludes our Tech Day 10 Minute IT Jam with Clarity CEO, Yaniv Vaji. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Yaniv. Thank you very much.